My mother is absolutely ecstatic. Um, I called her last night. She was actually out and uh, didn't get my call at first. And uh, she finally got back to me. And uh, she, I, I was like, Mom, are you alone? She's like, no. I was like, well, get alone. And she went outside, and I told her. And she just started bawling. I mean, she's just like so happy. I believe I was chosen because, like, um, at the end, the final stretch of things, there weren't um, a lot of people left that have the same kind of voice or um, personality, background type of thing. Um, there were a ton of good singers, but, you know, they're looking for all different kinds of people and not the same person. So it's probably my guess why they chose me. I'm a songwriter and um, I'm in a band, so I'm giving up um, the simplicity of being able to just sit around all day with my friends and write music and record. and things like that. Um, they're all very excited for me though and you know it brings a little bit of publicity to the band as well so that's that's always a good thing. I miss my brothers a lot and I'm gonna be missing them even more. Um, thought about them all day yesterday. Um, they're my little brothers you know and um, there's a lot going on at home with uh, the divorce and everything that's going on so it's really hard you know to just kinda feel like you're leaving them there to deal with it themselves. Um, but you know, also this is a very bright spot in everyone's lives at home right now too. So, you know, I feel bad, but at the same time, I'm, you know, I'm bringing a different element of happiness to this kind of yucky situation. I'm gonna have to be doing a lot of singing in front of the mirror uh, before these live shows go on. Um, I, I've been in bands, you know, in the last couple of years, but it's been a while. I used to be a musical theater person, so I really knew how to you know, uh, perform in front of a lot of people and be comfortable, but it's been a while since, you know, Spotlight's just on me and I'm telling a story, you know, because all songs tell a story, so, you know, um, I had a little bit of awkwardness with that during Hollywood week, so, you know, just more of being, like, aware of my body language and facial expressions, things like that, just a lot of, a lot of mirror practicing. If I could be any animal, I think I'd be a lion, just because, I mean, first of all, you know, I got the mane already. Um, plus, lions are just very independent and uh, can do anything they want on their own and, uh, you know, go out and get what they want. So that would probably be what I'd be, I'm sure. Well, my favorite sport to watch would be basketball, probably because it's one of the only sports I can actually follow. Um, and I grew up with it just because my dad was a basketball player. Both of my brothers play basketball. Um, my parents went to the University of Iowa, so I grew up um, going to basketball games and stuff like that. I'm not a huge sports person, but it's the only one that I understand when I'm watching it. <laughs> my dad calls me Rabbit. I have no idea why, but it's stuck. Um, it's it's just an endearing, cute little nickname um, whenever I go out. And my, he doesn't do it all the time now because I'm older and he feels a little bit awkward doing it, but whenever I have, you know, like big life-changing types of things and he always writes me a note or something, and at the end it's always like, love you, Rabbit. People may not know it, but um, I'm really into philosophy and ethics. Um, in uh, college, uh, when I first started college, I got put into the seminar thing that you have to do, everyone has to do a different seminar, and I got an ethics course, and I got really into it because it's just like, it's literally like the technicality of how to be a good person. Um, so I ended up minoring in ethics, um, just all different kinds of stuff, like bioethics, um, ethics of religion, um, ethics of law, you know, all different kinds of stuff like that. Um, it just, it makes you a well-rounded well person, I think. I'm the next American Idol because, you know, um, I, I can, you know, it is a singing competition, but at the same time, I think that America needs somebody um, that, that's a positive um, person to look up to, you know. Um, I've been through some stuff. Um, I, uh, I'm a good person, um, you know, I, um, I, I feel like I can bring something um, to the table um, that's different than past seasons. Um, I think maybe they're looking for something different this year. Um, so, you know, I'm hoping maybe this year they're going for more of a, a bluesy, jazzy type girl instead of a pop diva, but, you know, we'll just see what America wants this year.